Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, right in the cow barn. <laughs> Got a couple of them there. Not your best sides, ladies, so I'm going to shift over to here, but uh, oh, there's one more over there. Anyway, still over here, ready to haul this guy back so we can get the rest of the hay and figure out what to do with it. But I keep looking at that one lone bale back there and just feel like I need to try to do something about that. That's just me. Anyway, let's drive over the uh, the grass here and compact it a little bit more. Um, when you start the game, it usually gives you three tool tips as, as it's loading. One of them kind of looked interesting to me. And when I plant potatoes, I usually the last potatoes in the bag that have, that have started to grow little tendrils, we call them aliens, look like a bunch of some kind of alien life that's at the bottom of the bag. and cut those up, put them in the ground, and, and you get a next year's a garden full of potatoes. This game, apparently, you can take the previous harvest of potatoes and uh, uh, just bring your, your potato planter over, and it'll pick them up. So you don't have to buy seed for that. Anyway, oops. Well, um, I guess now we know how to uh, remove a stack, huh? Darn. Well, let's... Okay, let's see if we can get this guy before it's too late. Can I reach it? Ah, got it. So... Yeah. Let's see here. What do we do now? I guess we just fill this guy up. Okay, well I don't have to knock a stack over to pick it up. Now I know. So what do we do with these guys? You know, I want to try something. I want to know for sure whether or not I can get this guy... Whoa! I can get this guy under that roof. Let's back him in. Oh, that's close. A little more intentionally. Actually, I keep going the wrong way. Let's try it this way. There we go. Height-wise, hello wall. It's going to be real close. Let's see what we've got. Actually, I'm going in too deep. Let's try that again. This way? This way. Well, I think we're going to make it. Okay. All right, something like that. So we do have clearance for this one. It's possible we could get one more. It's, it just really depends on if it's going to react to the roof or if it's going to clip right through it. Yep, but there's our stack. Yep, we'll go with that. Why? And can I pull forward without knocking it all over? Looks like I can. Okay, now can I get it down without it gripping or hitting the roof? Yes. Okay, we're good then. Let's get out of here, and we'll just leave that lone one over there. Nah, we'll go pick it up. Bring that back with us. There we go. Alright, so what to do today? Let me get times back up to f speed 5, or 5 times reality, and let's head over to the sheep farm. I don't think there's any reason to go straight back to the, uh, the main farm at this point. I don't think fields have advanced. I've been running for the most part at one speed or real time lately, so need to need to get the day moving along. We want to figure out what to do with the last of the bales, and then we want to get silage going and get all the grass uh, loaded up with the loading wagon. 
Uh, next turn. That's right. This one stops. No, this that was the right one. That's the sheep farm turn, and this is the regular farm turn. Gotta, gotta remember that. Nobody there, and nobody kind of there. <laughs> there we go. Sheep farm is the dirt road here. Alright, I'm still not sure if I had seven or eight left. I think there's an eighth one over the crest of the hill there. I saw that incorrectly last time. Let's go find out. Either way, I'm thinking we're just going to park these guys in a stack somewhere and call it done. That's right, I want to go in at angles. We'll get this guy, but the rest of these we're going to do our weaving. And we got to wait for that, that animation to complete. There we go. He's pushing them back and then swinging up forward to the next one and there. And we had seven. Now we know. Unless I lost one. That's happened before. <laughs> Once it goes into the water, it ceases to exist. Kind of what I learned last time. All right. So we could just leave these on the uh, on the trailer. That's probably the best answer for right now. In that case, we will just park the trailer. Oh, probably up in that space right there. That wasn't the right one. Try that again. There we go. Backing up is all about a 50-50 chance. <laughs> I usually blow it. Alright. That's done. Let's go grab the loading wagon. We'll jump the uh, the rows here. You want to hit the space button for jump. But it doesn't work in this game. It works if you're running around, but not in a tractor. <laughs> So today, this is, hmm, this is Friday, that's right. Last episode I thought it was Friday, it was Thursday night. The episode was going to be coming out Friday morning, that's why I was, that's what I was thinking. This is actual Friday for me. Woke up to seven inches of snow out there. Actually, it was eight in my area, but officially for, for town it's seven inches. And, I want that one right there. And... It's seven inches on top of old snow, on top of ice that has old snow that has melted and, and reformed into ice all over the roads. So it's almost undrivable. I got up and the city had plowed all the snow into the parking strips in front of my store. So I decided to jump into the little pickup truck. We got a little Dodge Dakota and drive it around the block to the parking strips and, and kind of hit it fast enough to keep the momentum going and plow through all of it, get to the end, then back up on my ruts and do it again each time making the, the wheel ruts a little bit wider so I can create some parking for customers. Well, I went about five feet forward and got stuck. Rocked it back and forth and, and uh, got back into my parking spot, so I went backward about 15 feet till I hit the main road so I backed up that way thinking I would create some some ruts and some clearing so I can pull forward even faster yeah this little spot's I don't know if it's bugging you but it's bugging me let's get rid of that there <laughs> and um there we go um got stuck back there so 
I finally got back to my parking space. And I'm on a side road off of the main road, the main road that they had cleared. Let's do this. I'll try and talk while I'm driving and probably do both poorly. That didn't work. Yeah, see? That's the right button. Um, and so... Got back to ground zero, basically. And came up with a brilliant idea that if I floor it going backwards, I can maybe get out to the main road, and which has been plowed, so that should give me the momentum to do it, you know, to do it correctly, and at least get get moving again. So I got, I floored it, we're full, and we're going this way. There it is, and uh, floored it backwards pushed through the stuff that I had got stuck in before, but as I got where I could see the main road, I realized traffic was coming, so I had to hit the brakes. Lost all my, my momentum, and now I'm stuck in deep snow, which I realized afterward is the snow berm that the city had created when they plowed all the main road onto parking strips and the entrance to all the side roads. So, I was stuck. Rocking it back and forth, it was, I was slowly gaining ground. But a very kind neighbor jumped out to say, hey, I'll push you. Which means I had to stop my rocking and lost my momentum again. I said, well, no, that's okay. I'd rather just rock it back and forth. And then another neighbor ran out and said, hey, I'll give you a push. So the two of them jumped in and decided to help me anyway. And they're behind the truck. But this is seven or eight inches of snow on top of ice. So they're pushing and slipping and falling and pushing and slipping and falling and not doing any good and, and while I'm talking I'm just realizing I was going to take this to the cows <laughs> um I I why what dumps this thing control I it doesn't like it here that's right um that one control I so anyway I finally convinced them to to give up so that I could do it my way. And control I. And so they they left, covered in snow and a little bruise from all the slipping on the ice. So I rocked it back and forth a few more times but just couldn't quite get it moving enough to get back to my parking space. So I left it in drive and stepped out and grabbed the side of the truck and just started rocking it back and forth. The one wheel was spinning, you know, idling, but still it was slipping on the ice. And I was able to slide it back and forth until it finally snagged something a little bit uh, with a little more grip. And started rolling forward, so I jumped back in and, and kept it going, but it got stuck halfway and landed up out there with a shovel and a bucket of, of uh, sand and got it moving again. So it took me 30 minutes to uh, to be able to get back to my parking space, <laughs> I should have never should have never even moved. But in the end, I've declared it a snow day. If I can't get out of my own parking space, I don't think any customers are getting to me. So I'm off. I'm gonna get probably a, two episodes of this game in, two episodes of RimWorld in, get a little bit of a few episodes in the bank. And uh, see where that where that goes. Just sit back and enjoy the day. Let's see. I was over there. I think I'll continue with that row. Although I could clip this off on my way. All right. I miss anything over here? No. It's picking it up nice and clean. Okay. We're going to cattle next time. It'd be nice to get one of these to ten percent, so we can get the uh, the silage fermenting. And I'm thinking the cattle makes the most sense because we could then feed them next round using the bucket and loose <laughs> use silage. Get hiccup. And uh, that way I'll show you how that process works. And we're done. So let's when these rows are are condensed, it doesn't take much. That's when you really wish you had a much bigger loading wagon. This little guy uh, doesn't hold a lot compared to the big ones.
Well, we've got a little bit of slurry forming there. We've got some manure forming, which means this would probably be a good area for greenhouses. Hmm. Right between those trees. That might be a good place to put them. Get one of each in there. Show how they work. Okay, starting to get that timing down pretty good. I think this silo might be a little bit shorter. I had to let off on the gas there for a while, although I may have started too deep in. Yeah, I started right here. So that, maybe they are the same. Anyway, it seems that the best pathway is actually going this way. And then uh, once you make the turn over there, if I can remember which turn it is, is a straight shot into the sheep. Which turn was it? Was it the first one? I think so. So, follow this guy in. Let's see if we can get to the end of this row this time. Over there somewhere. There he is. And I need both. There. Well, he does fill up fast. No, we're not going to make the end of the row, are we? Oh, we just bite. Okay. <laughs> My other monitor, I can... I missed a spot there. I can see uh, comments coming in on the videos. And Eric just wrote in on episode 75. <laughs> Got his new pants and they felt fabulous. <laughs> yeah, episode 75 didn't turn out the way that I had planned in RimWorld. I was sending Dwayne in to open up the ancient danger room. But before I got a chance to do that, I was I was uh, getting all the other colonists set up and ready for the big battle to come. And meanwhile, Eric, unattended, just wandered on over there and broke the wall open. Said hi. So <laughs> I was not expecting that. Best laid plans. Oh, that was close. Just coasting through. Don't mind me. All right, yeah, from the sheep, straight down this road and take a right. That's the easiest pathway into the cattle. Well, even they have to almost hit each other and stop. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't expect that they would make left turns in this game like that. They don't stop at the intersections. So I would think that the, the game developer would have had them hug their side of the road at all times since they don't, since the AI isn't programmed for them to intelligently look for, for cars to cut across the road. I guess as long as they don't hit each other, the game is happy. It doesn't matter what it does to me. Alright, control I. Floor it. We're doing a little compacting as we're going. And yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's going to work. Right there. Control I. Um, can I turn around? Barely. Really barely. No. Let's jackknife this. No, I am jackknifed. Okay, that's as close as we're going to get. But I want to do a little bit of compacting. You should see it kind of spreading out to the sides as we go. Let's see what this looks like here. So we are... Don't know what 
10% is. It doesn't give us a percentage. It just gives us the uh, rate of compaction, which is going up as we're going. And it's spreading this stuff out. And, uh, yeah. So, I didn't get to see what that said. Somewhere around 20%. Uh, F1. There we go. Let's go get another one. Start down at this end. Uh, button, button. <laughs> My fingers didn't reach there fast enough. There we go. Twelve miles an hour feels so slow. That's as fast as those little wheels can whip that stuff up inside. Amazing, go that quick. Now, if I miss anything in the other rows, I got the sense I missed something up there. Zoom out a little, make sure I'm not seeing anything here. Fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand. I don't see anything over there. I thought I missed a patch. I missed a patch in this one. Maybe that's what I was thinking of right there. Okay. Well, we got a lot more this time than I expected. That row wasn't as dense. And I missed a little spot there. Alright. Let's do it again. Oh, there's a spot right there, too. Okay, there's two spots to get to. Well, he came to a sudden stop when he hit that grass. Control I. That is still such a hard reach. It says left control I. I don't know if it will not work if I hit right control I. I've not tried it. In fact, once I get past this turn, I can let go of my fingers. Let's see if it does not work. Okay. You have to use two hands or you have to have giant stretching fingers. Okay. Let's see. Do it again. And we'll start actually down here at this end. That makes sense. Alright, that button, that button. Does that work? Yeah. Now is that... A new layer of growth? It might be. The canola over there might be uh, ready to go. Get to the end of this and we'll peek at the map. If so, then we'll save that for next episode. There's still the one bale out there. <laughs> a straw. But, yeah, next time, canola and uh, getting field 15 planted. All right, so the one spot there, that was the second spot. The first one was at the other end. So let's remember those. Um, let's... That's not it. That one. All right, growth. Nope, we're still there. Okay. What was I seeing there? It's showing that this needs to be plowed. Yeah, that's right, that does. And this is always going to be red unless we tear the grass up and plow it. Okay, that's what I wanted to know.
this game sometimes reminds me of a demolition derby. Actually, even more fun, a uh, figure eight race. You ever seen one of those on a dirt track? I haven't seen one since a kid. But, uh, cars driving in a figure eight, navigating that center point from two loops. Really fun to watch. Gotta, I would imagine very much of an adrenaline rush to drive. But, uh, there's always a spectacular wrecker 10 one of those. I think that's where old race cars go to die. Yeah, they, well, I would imagine they get paid for that. Regular races, you really don't get paid. You know, the, the stock car races, your local track or local county track, you uh, most likely, or most, most of them, I would imagine, give you an award at the end, depending on what, uh, what ranking you hit. Uh, what place you came in and there's some money there but for the most part they do it entirely on their own kind of like uh, like running a YouTube channel it's just something to do that's fun it's all out of your pocket and you do it because you want to but I uh, don't know if there are many of the uh, of the smaller local race car tracks left and we've got we had three or four here at one time we're down to one and that one has been gone bankrupt and, and uh, auctioned off a couple of times now. So, kind of a dying sport. I would guess that we're going to hit that 10% mark this time. Well, there's quite a bit here. I mean, you do fill it up to, well, you know, almost to the top of the of the concrete, if you want to go for the whole thing. But I'm thinking we're approaching 10% of that. Let's see. Control I, boy, you sprain your hand trying to reach that thing. I'm going to complain every time. You know that. They had, well, I guess I can reset the keys. There is that. I, yeah, it's my own fault then. It is still controlled I after all this time. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do two hands. There we go. Much better. You're going back down. And I took the wrong turn. So, we're going to sneak through this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm in demolition mode now. Come on. Come at me. <laughs> Missed spots. That one right there? Yeah, there's one. Right in there. And we'll start at this end. Boy, oh, that's a mound. Yeah, I didn't think we could swallow all that at one time. We'll go back for that one. Okay, so what did we miss? It's getting into the afternoon and the lighting is not as good as it was before. Green is starting to blend into green. There's some. Did I get it all? Looks like I did. So there's one over here and I think we're pretty well cleaned up now. Let's go that last row. Okay. I would think this last row is not as dense as some of those middle ones, but I may be wrong. Alright, get that thing straight. Alright, well that's probably the last full load. Well, hmm. 
tell you what. We'll dump this one. We'll take that one and top off the grass at both animal areas. And then we'll dump what's left into the silo and go through and compact it and see if it's enough. I think that's our plan. Alright. Let's cut this one in more to this side. Something like that. Yeah, when you do get this guy full, you eventually get to where you really can't drive through it anymore. You have to back in and dump it. So that's probably more of the plan for... Uh, if you're intending on doing the whole thing, is to start in the very middle and back in and dump it. Wow, I'm, am I really stuck? He was acting like it. Oh, I'm rubbing the side. Okay. Yeah, that's got to be an, enough to hit a minimum. Let's go get the last of that. Now, I just got to thinking the sheep were overloaded on grass. So not only can I not add any, add any grass to it, I also can't use that uh, that one device with the wheel that's, that spins and flips the grass in. It's not going to accept anymore. So I may as well just use the, the front loader here, no, the loading wagon here, to go clean up the sheep, because we can't put it in there anyway. So, zoom out as far as I can. Any other grass splotches out and about? Or have we really cleaned it up? If we miss any, it'll be there and, and mixed in with the next load that comes through. So it's not a big deal. Okay, we running? We're running. Let's clean this up. Scraping. Yep. Let's try it this way. There. Something like that. Alright, so they're cleaned up. They're still plenty fed. I think I'm going to go around. We, we haven't seen the sheep lately. <laughs> Let's see here. Sneak in like that. Get to where you can see them. Not take out a tree or a fence post. Yeah, just like I knew what I'm doing. Alright, let's go. I snuck in the background this time. Alright. Um, no. Let's top off the, uh, the cattle. Zoom out here a little bit around the tree and try that again. So the cattle grass, that's over here. If I just hit I, yeah. So it accepts it this time. And I don't think I can make that turn. Let's go around this way. Now, there should be room feed-wise for more grass, so I'm thinking that I'm safe to pick up that, that one cleaning implement later and uh, explore that. But uh, Control-I for the last time. Alright. Now, I'm thinking we're going to Control-I grab the, the uh, Manitou. Let's compact that thing. Now, what is that? That's grass. But that's different colored. Huh. So that's not really grass over there. Like this is. I don't know. I had not noticed that before. Anyway. Let's... Oh, this guy got stuck open. 
All right, let's drive through here a half dozen times and see what we get. Use a lot faster and zippier. And doesn't compact worth a hoot. Okay. And he turns too quick. All right, I'm complaining. Let's put him away. He's not going to do it. The tractor was actually doing a pretty good job. So let's go back to that. Right in there. And we'll try this again. I guess it, with the loading wagon, should add a little more um, weight to the equation. I'm hoping that it, it calculates that, or keeps track of that. Alright, well we gained 1% last time. What are we going to do here? Not that much more. Really. That's going to take a while. Okay. Well, we want to get the other things done while there's still enough light to record. So I'm going to turn time back down to one. And I'm just going to buzz this for a while till I get near the end. This is not going to be a lot of fun to watch. Especially when I can't make this turn. I'm going to park this guy here. I'm going to get the other tractor. Be right back. Try this again, and I'd say it's time for a root and toot and time lapse. Well, I don't know about you, but I think the backwards wag seemed to have the best results. But we hit 100%. And there's no sense of being able to cover it. Engine off doesn't do anything. Um, exit toggles. Nothing. We're either still under 10%. Or it is not going to accept this. Hmm. That's a little frustrating. Otherwise... Now, if I jump out and walk in... Compacting, chaff level... Blanket silo, there it is. It won't do it in the tractor. Huh. Okay, I wonder if it could have done it before. Anyway, R, boom, and that part is going to ferment. And fermenting silage 1%. That's how it works. So with that, I think we're going to call this episode done. Next time, I don't know. Are we there yet? We're not there yet. Hmm... Okay, so after that, what then? I think I just... Actually, let's do this. Plant growth, fast. All right, so very quickly into next episode, this should transition over. I just need to reset it back to slow or everything's going to advance on me before I even get this field done. But this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm going to just jump in and record the next one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.